Remember a while back when I said that I couldn't wait to play the Pirates of the Caribbean online game? Well, it turns out that it's actually been out for quite a while and the team has done a pretty good job with the place. I would even say that it's better than the original back when Disney was still hosting it. The many features include owning your own ship, fighting skeletons, fighting the navy, fighting scorpions, and cocodrilos, and alligators, I don't know, both. Travel across the Caribbean Sea on your wooden ship. Customize your pirate with a lot of clothing options. And please play with me, this is, uh, the game is actually quite fun, I'm not gonna lie. If you like MMOs with target systems where you don't really have to dodge around a lot, where it's just you and the enemy and you just click until it dies, this is a good game for you. You still have to pay attention, you can't take on too much aggro from different enemies, and just blowing ships apart with your own ship and cannons is just so damn fun. Now, warning, if you don't play this game a lot you're not gonna get very far. It's one of those grindy games. I do like how there has been an increase in the items you can get. I don't remember back in the original Pirates Online that you could get all these different kinds of items. There are different kinds of guns, different kinds of swords, they have their own combos. A lot of different weapon varieties. I think uh, there's like six different weapons with different variations. And you can customize your ship, which is a very nice touch. But you do need a lot of materials which you get from plundering and that's a... Uh, that's a whole other demon that we're not going to discuss right now. Leveling up is a bit of a pain. You gotta keep killing enemies within your level, and you level up mastery of your weapons individually. This means that you can play with your lower level friends with your newer weapons, while you have high level equipment and a main sort of fighting style, I would say, the sword. The campaign its pretty good. The storyline is all about getting the Black Pearl and the crew back together. I never got very far in it, I think it's okay, they kept the old cutscenes from the good old days. And I'm pretty sure that they're also adding some new content. Of course a lot of other things like the functionality, how the game plays, if it doesn't crash, all of that comes first. But they have released a couple of events and I really appreciate that we don't have to pay a dime. The, the game is completely free. There were no microtransactions, it was a subscription game. They're not taking any donations, I don't know how they're keeping the game running, but they are. So, if you have a computer, you can play this game, and it runs very smoothly on low-end PCs, which is a good thing. Now, the end game consists of just looting ships over and over. I don't know if they implemented the mechanic where you grapple onto a broken down ship, and then you go in on board and you pillage the fuck out of them. I think I've done it once. But I don't know how to trigger it. I don't know if it's automatic. I don't know if there's like a certain percentage. I don't know if it's only for the higher level ships. All I know is that when it does happen, I don't want to do it because it's usually on the higher level ships. And I cannot fight those guys off by myself. So yeah, get yourself a crew, start pillaging, man. I know that there's a bunch of ships always um, on the sea, so... If you want to just get to that, you can go ahead and just start pillaging, man. Showing someone else's ship and then start bombing things down or repairing the, the damages, which is very important. Fishing is kind of fun. I actually really enjoy it from time to time. Overall, great game, but it gets really lonely. So, if you're interested, check it out. You're not losing anything other than your time. It's not that big of a download, maybe 2 gigabytes. Really doesn't take a lot of resources to run. I know the graphics may be a bit rough, but this game was around in like, what, 2005? Back when PC was starting to gain traction and newer and better games were coming out. So yeah, that is about all I have to say. Very fun, very enjoyable. A bit too grindy, but it's free. And I'm just glad it's around again. Well, this was Panda. Thanks for commenting to my video. I'll see you around, yeah?